Okay, bear with me. This is one way of getting your pattern. And I made this up about half an hour ago, so it's quite experimental. Okay, you take your image, and this probably works best with anime, but it could probably be used with more complex images to break it down into simpler shapes. Um, right, take your image um, and really increase the contrast, like 30% or so. Well, 230, I don't know how Photoshop works, I only know how to use the GIMP. Um, then colorize the image if you can. Um, get it into a fairly grey, brown colour. Um, because that's obviously chocolatey. Um, and bump the saturation up if you want to. Um, also I tend to find the colorize makes things a lot darker, so I'm compensating by pushing up the lightness as well. Settings there, and um, that's the sort of colour you get come out with. It's also pretty close to the colour of the twins' hair, which is quite convenient. Um, I'm just going to turn that down a bit more towards the ready colours and shuffle that up a little bit more. New settings that, but obviously do it to your own preferences. Um, and once you've got this, try and separate the whole thing into about five colours. Um, I'd say seven at the absolute maximum. Because when you've got your chocolate, you have white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. And the easiest way to sort it out is milk chocolate... Um, well, I suppose two parts of each. So white chocolate, white chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, milk chocolate, milk, 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 dark, milk, dark, dark, and dark. I'm sorry, that doesn't really make sense, but um, I hope it does. Um, so if you select all the colours, I've actually found that now that I've colourised the whole thing, basically... The uniforms and the hair are pretty much the same, I think you can see me pointing at them. So I'm just going to select one colour, fill the whole lot, makes it nice and simple. That will be one mix of chocolate. Um, then again, select that, the hair, color, hair shadow and the blaze shadow is exactly the same colour. Well, might as good as makes no difference so fill that all in um, nice and simple um, then you have different shadows and actually this is interesting because the second first time I did it the highlights up here they came out bright white so you might want to increase your contrast if you want the highlights to be really really white and then you could do them in the same color as the skin but um, that's obviously your choice. Um, select a colour, blank the whole thing in just for simplicity's sake and I just blanked it in the wrong colour. Um, definitely blanked it in the wrong colour. Something has gone wrong and I can't be bothered to fix it very properly so uh, you get the gist of what you're doing. Um, ties need to be done as well. And basically you're just trying to make sure that you have about five to seven colours at the absolute maximum, otherwise it's just going to get really, really complicated. If you're doing a realistic picture, which I haven't ever tried before because I'm too scared, you will be able to mix colours more, but it's a lot harder to paint with, so for the anime style, reduce it to as few colours as possible. Okay? Okay, now this little atrocity I have produced is essentially me splitting up the colours from here and giving them really, really distinctive, horrible, bright, garish colours so you can actually tell the difference between them. This is quite convenient just for visibility's sake when you're making your pattern. Um, don't forget this is just one way of doing it if you're using a digital image. Um, I would be absolutely disgusted by this, um, but it's quite helpful. Um, scale your image to the relevant size, so 
in this case 200 millimeters and then that comes out as about right and then scale it get your bigger image and then tell the thing to print okay so once you have your image um, print it out as necessary really is hideous um, and then you will have to pin it in the relevant place under your pattern uh, so you can just about see what I'm talking about here but I'm going to use my light box to do this because it's a lot simpler and a lot neater and tidier okay so once you've got your picture tacked to your paper to your pattern piece um, make sure that you have yourself a nice little color coordination color key that's the word um, so I now know what colors on the picture are going to turn into what co what pieces of chocolate and I hope you can read my writing but um, white is W milk is M dark is D obviously um, and once you know what colour your dark chocolate is going to be, which I've done and written in blue, um, start outlining the piece in, well, blue, oh, quite honestly. So you might want to do some outlines in a lighter colour. I've, here I've got down that I'm going to do some light outlines in milk chocolate. Um, those would be ones like around the eyes and the mouth just because they're not as thick and they're on light areas anyway so that's your choice you can do the whole thing nice and clean with dark um, so for example the eyelashes would be dark brown and then the lower lid would be in light brown again that's your choice and start outlining i suppose um no, let's see if I can get 